Are we live? I don't know. I'm going to mute this, though, so you don't have to listen to me. Twice. Once is enough. Seriously. We appear to be live, Chewbacca. Oh, no. I'm getting an ad first. For myself. Cha-ching. Just got paid. Oh, snap. We're on the internet. We're on the internet, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the dork side. It is I, your friendly neighborhood dork, in my garage, and tonight I am exhausted because I just spent the last four hours spooning tires on, and right here under my my hand is the rear because I haven't even gotten it back on the bike yet. So I'm very tired and looking forward to tasting delicious whiskeys, which I happen to have in the little box that came from Flaviar. Why is my chat not showing up? Why are you like this? Connect to live chat. I would like to see what people are saying, please. Also, Chewbacca's here, if you were concerned, because he hasn't appeared in a couple weeks. He's here. I'm definitely going to trip over this hose I left on the floor. Hey, Tammy. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you to Amanda for recommending you, recommending me to you, recommending that you come here. We have a good time. We hang out. We spend the wheel of shenanigans, so we're happy to have you here. Ugh. Oh yeah, I got my hands on my rear. Hey, Stag. Stag, what's this? Hold on, where is it? Where did I put it? Oh, right there. Right there, can you see it? Ooh, Stag, you're with, here with me, bud. You're here with me, bud. Not bad. Not bad. So, welcome in. We'll give everybody a minute or two to get in here, and then uh, I got two boxes from Flaviar I want to unbox so that we can start drinking. Hello, V-Track, Maldog, Mike Wolanski, how are you? Chewy is very animated tonight. Yeah, Stag, thanks for hooking me up. Y'all should go follow Stag. And McLovin, and who else is in here that needs to be followed on the, on the YouTubes? Go make sure you subscribe to them, because they are the real deal. And Stag has cool stickers, and he sends them to cool people. Let's see, there's one. Rotlar. Man, I didn't mean to put it so front and center, but worked out for you, huh, bud? I mean, I did not mean to put it front and center. I just didn't consciously put it front and center. <sighs> hey, Polly. Yeah, Osceola. Sounds great. Hey, Jeff. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Glenn. McLovin's here. If you haven't joined the Discord and you like to chat with motorcycle people and share weird motorcycle memes and get the... the the heads up the skinny on anything for sale within a hundred mile radius it seems like we we're turning out to be really good at that and uh set up meetups and all that stuff join the dork on the road discord there's a link mclovin's there he'll hook you up mclovin got a new bike yep that that guy mclovin who you should follow he uh he for some reason just bought a drz what a guy corn went to the chiropractor doing better don't be fired that's not good you're just going to pivot to YouTube and make a lot of money and make a living on YouTube if you get fired. Hey, Jet. Working on your DR. Nice. Hey, Brian. Now, you can't really see Chewy. You can just see his butt and his back. This is Chewbacca right here. We do have shenanigans in the Discord. Shenanigans abound, you might say. Abound. So, I've always... Um, thought that those those rim protector things were dumb i never really understood why you wanted them when you were changing your tires or whatever but i never had black rims before so i have obliterated these rims they are chewed up chewed up but hey stefan but front is on and mounted front is mounted and on the front tire is on the wheel and the wheel is on the motorcycle the rear tire is right here on the wheel and not yet on the motorcycle, but soon. Stag, got your double take? Yeah, dude, you're, not, you're never going to want to go back. Those stag mirrors are a revelation. A revelation. Man, Jed, I haven't even got my booze out yet. Okay, so for those of you who are new here, anytime someone donates a dollar or more, we got to spin the wheel of shenanigans. Uh, a couple new additions to the wheel. Actually, that's not true. Nothing new. There is a new edition, I take it back. Um, but we spent so much time trying to get Secret Word to come up last week that I added it to the wheel a second time. So there are two two secret words on the wheel, so you have twice as, twice as much chance of getting it. And then I also added a spinner's choice. So 
if you were to get that one and then decided, hey, I want to I want to do a secret word, you totally can. So let's spin it and see what happens. But I'm going to have to take my drinks on credit because I have to open my package first. All right, this is for Jack. <laughs> really? Really? Last week, it took over an hour to get secret word to come up. First spin, secret word. All right. So for those of you who have not played Secret Word before, it's basically like Pee Wee's Playhouse, where they would have a word of the day, and anytime anyone said it, everyone had to scream, ah, right? Except instead of screaming, we all take a drink. Um, so obviously participation is voluntary, you're not obligated, but it seems to be a fun way to sort of pass the time. So Jet, tell me what the secret word is. Keep in mind that uh, you can make it really hard, or you can make it really easy. If you make it really easy, that makes... If you make it a word that I say a lot like the, well, we're going to be in trouble. But if you make it something like rutabaga, it doesn't come up as often, but I have to work harder to work it in. So um, a word that comes up semi-frequently is a good one. And I'll, anytime I say it, we all have to drink. I'll try hard. Oh, DRZ. Okay. That's a good one. Except for, you guys always pick things that are like in the, that I have to talk about, right? So um, whatever. That's fine. My Suzuki 400 is right over here. Oh. McLovin agrees that those motorcycles rock. Thank you, McLovin. The chat is bigger tonight. It's like they updated the app or something. That's good. I can see it better. DRZs do rock. Thank you, McLovin. Oh, I just said it. I just said it. Okay. Well, I'll owe you all like four drinks once I get out my thingy. That sounded bad. This is for McLovin. Door trivia. Cool. Okay. This will be good. Get up, dog. This will be good. All right. Keep in mind. And whenever someone said, whenever I say the secret word, you guys all have to type in chat like, drink, he said it. Because ah, it's fun. It's good times. It's good times. All right. Door trivia. Okay. These are good. Um, so this is specifically in reference to a video that I made. Uh, so the question is, name one thing that I love about dual sport riding. And I had a video where there were five things, so we're trying to get into we're trying to get one of those. We're trying to get one of those if we can. So what's one thing I love about dual sport riding? This should be easy. Because it doesn't matter if you've seen that specific video, I talk about these things all the time. Alright, I'm gonna get this glass out then. I have two things to unbox from Flaviar. Two things. Thanks to Flaviar arrived. So the first is this is the quarterly sampler box that you get. So there are three boozes in here three boozes you can pick um but it comes with a cement coaster cement coaster right i already have one over here but now i do those are actually really neat and then there's these cards with the flavor profile for whatever for the boozes that are in here so i picked this one um it's something texas so it's got a there's an alamo black label bourbon balcones balcones and Another one, a Ranger Creek Rye. So I've got one of each. The sex appeal. You got me. These, this box is kind of fun the way it opens too. There's a cord, see? And then you just pull it and it pulls the thing off. And look, it's like, uh, it's like plutonium or something in an 80s movie, the way this case opens up. It's all, it's all packaged. Their packaging is no joke. Whooshed. There you go, there you go. And all three of these. So I need the cards, because you're supposed to kind of taste them. It'll tell you which is which. Oh, man, Buffalo Trace. Hmm. So that that's probably what I'll primarily be drinking tonight, but I also want to show you the bottles I got, because I got a package today. So, um, And honestly, I forgot what I ordered. I think there's a Mictors. I think I ordered a Mictors and an Elijah Craig. No, my Mictors is over here. Shit, what did I order? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, like the shaving cream. Like, Dotson, we got Dotson here. Oh, man. Look at this. I didn't know that I got a magazine. Imbibe. That's a, that's a coffee table book. And, okay, I don't remember ordering. Oh, I got Old Forester. That's what I ordered. Okay. So take a look at how they package these, because it's no joke. It's no joke. But these two bottles, and, uh, they're not expensive. I mean, you got to pay for the membership, but I paid, it was like $45 for these two. Um, so Elijah Craig, one of my faves. 
This is the regular small batch because they sent me the single barrel last time by mistake or barrel proof, which was rad. But I really like this one. And then I've never had Old Forester before. So I got the Old Forester 100. It's supposed to be a big deal. It's supposed to be good. No one cares. No one cares. So that's good. I gotta rearrange my shelf, but I'll put these down here for now. I'll have to sample this later. I'm gonna dust this shelf anyway. It's getting nasty. All right, now the dog's on my lap. You guys wanna see my tire real quick? Oh! I gotta tell you, these um, these Trackmasters, the rubber is very soft. I have serious concerns about it lasting a year, especially in comparison to like the D606. Jack, got your seat concepts low. Tell me it's more comfortable, because I've heard the um, the seat concepts low has less padding, and so they aren't as comfortable as a regular seat concepts. Dog, you have to stop walking through here because your tail likes to pull things off the table. Okay, so I don't know why, but I'm feeling the rye right now. So I'm going to start with the rye. The rye is, this is Ranger Creek 44 rye. It's B, it's this one. Dual Sport does bring new friends. Nice rim job. I do my best. No, I got it, Stag. I got it. Well, here's the problem, is I sometimes ride on the highway. Not often. But recently, I've been riding out to the riding areas a lot more. I was putting it in the truck every time, but now that I'm exploring this closer area, I've been riding out there. So we'll see. That'll last me a year, anyway. Well, that's cool, Jet. That's good to know, because my buddy who owns a DRZ... I almost said it, but I didn't. My buddy who owns a Suzuki 400 is thinking about getting the low seat, because he wants his bike a little lower. Um, I'm trying to convince him to get... <laughs> my response was, uh, you could just keep your feet on the pegs. Apparently that's what we're supposed to do. I don't know. You stretched out your chain? God, you're like the Hulk. How did you stretch out your chain? I don't want to adjust mine. Don't tell me that. Oh, uh, McLovin... Jay, are you in here? Basically anyone who has a Suzuki 400, there was literally zero, zero grease on my front axle when I pulled it off, and the same with the rear. So if and when you change tires, make sure that you grease it up yourself, because wow, they're not good. All right, here it is. Oh, this is that rye. I haven't had a good rye in a while. No, you're not wrong, Stag, except for I don't want to go through the ordeal I went through today every year. Well, the um, Suzuki 400 chains are a little funky. They feel loose. They slap a little, I guess. But if you go in and put your three fingers underneath the chain, mine is perfectly tight the way it's supposed to be. But it just slaps a lot. I don't know. It slaps. That's what the kids say when a piece of music is good. Mal dog busting out that shenanigans. Bro, if I drink four right now, you and I are not going to be able to converse later. Plus, I'm trying to enjoy this. Hi, rookie. Good to see you. Working's a good thing. Is that thing going to kick in or what, Mal? Why is it not popping? I'm going to spin it for you anyway. Spinning it. This is for Mal, dog. Everyone in vibe. <laughs> Everyone in vibe. Thanks, Mal. Mmm. Plus, I want to enjoy this. You can totally see the reflection of the wheel spinning in this. That's funny. That makes me happy. So, as you can see from the wheel, there are two, two secret words. And I added spinner's choice. I took off Make Up a Story because I was working really hard last week and I'm really tired because I've been fighting these tires for the last uh, four hours. There's baby powder literally everywhere. V-Track, why do they call it axle grease if you're not supposed to grease your axle? I mean, I'm not a mechanic, but I've, been, I've heard that Suzuki is very stingy with the grease and so you've got to go in and add some. I don't know, I had, to, I had to grease the axle on the bras when I put it together. I need to change the banner. I said the same thing for like the last five years. 
Yeah, uh, no, I agree, James. And um, I was gonna, but we couldn't get the schedule worked out, and I'm leaving for a trip on Monday. And frankly, I needed to know that I could do it on the new bike uh, in case I have to in the woods. But now that I'm sure that I can, I will not. I'll be paying from now on for someone to do it because I do not like spooning tires on. And I thought this softer rubber would be easier, and I left it sitting out in the heat. No, the last four or five bites on this tire were harder than anything I've ever done. Not like in my whole life, but of any tire I've ever put back on. They were a real bitch. I thought I was going to destroy the tire. Seriously. The, my rim is... There's a really good scuff that you can't see, obviously, but... Um, yeah, like a scrape, like a width of the rim scrape across it somehow. Let's let everybody drink, I think, Jet. Yeah, not rusting is good. Thanks, rookie. Armor all. I was using, I've got some spray cleaner stuff that it helps lube it up a little, but I like to tread on these. These are going to be great. Where I'm going is super sandy. So these will be really great for this or for that. And then we'll see if I chunk them. But when I ride out to the riding area and back, I'll keep them pretty inflated. So, although, um, those of you that run Trackmaster Stag, you might know this. Are they directional? Because there isn't a, there is a tiny arrow on the side, so I mounted it according to that, just to be safe. But because if it's not directional, then you could flip it once the edges chunk off, right? Um, but I don't know. Jet, I think Mama Dork is in her craft room or something. Hey, Chewbacca, no thank you. Hey, Chewbacca, no thank you. He's an idiot, and uh, Lil isn't here. We went camping this week, though. We just got back from camping two nights ago. That's an 18-inch, David. Not directional. Okay, good. Well, let me know how that goes. They don't look directional. I do not like the look of the front. I don't know why, but I want a line of knobs down the middle to help with turning, and it doesn't have those. It looks exactly the same as the rear. So I don't know. Feels weird to me. But I'm just used to the... I'm used to the MT21 front that has that center knobs. Also, this is a, a true 9010 tire, and I guess the, the D606, I watched a Ryan F9 video, and he said they are, it's more of a 7030, which I have plenty of traction on those for me, so I'm, I was super happy with them. So if these Trackmasters wear faster than I'd like, then I'll probably go back to the D606, because it's had more traction than I've ever needed. Chewbacca, please don't do that. Chewie, come here. Chewie. Chewbacca, should we come? Well, what do I know? It's not going to hurt it. Uh, I just finished editing a video today, Jet, that I went up there on a Saturday. So I explored the whole side There's a, where the road splits halfway up there. And um, I basically went on every road off of the left fork. And it, it loops around back to Crawfordsville, I discovered. But... Uh, that video will be up next Thursday. I know I told you guys last week I was going to do three videos a week, and I'm still planning to do that, but because I'm going to be gone most of this next week, I had to spread them out a little more than the ones I had, so um, you got two this week, you'll get two next week, and then hopefully the following week will be at three. I should have a lot of footage when I get back. Hey, Zach. Our neighbors must be outside. That's why Chewbacca's having such a good time out there. Having such a good time. Look at all these channel members with their bronze badges. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, definitely someone's outside. Because my dog is losing his mind. What do you guys think of that Flaviar packaging? They don't screw around. Hey, has a magpie flies here. Go sub to her if you haven't. She just did a live stream from her tent uh, in her house, right? In your office or in the backyard? Every, that scorpion helmet is so popular. There's like 15 people on Discord that have them. I just can't bring myself to go to a modular. Not with all my mic and everything I have to set up. And I really want, I don't know, it's not Snell or ECE, right? It's just Dot. 
I like the look of it a ton. Really want the Sand MX-9 to match my Scorpion gear. I like that color. Yeah, office tent, best tent. You don't know the planet name? They're from Kashyyyk. Wookiees are from Kashyyyk. Hey, ATC. Phil. Jeff. No, there's other dogs outside barking. Weird. So, uh, update on the new motorcycle. Because I can't say the name of it. <clears throat> so, uh... I basically have all the mods that I want except for one and it is on the way and I, it may get here before I leave but it may not so I may have to go strangle a pug in a minute so there's that um Chewbacca come on I'm doing stuff bro could you not he won't even come out here. It's super weird. He just likes to lay on the back of the couch. Anyway, what all have I got on there now? Uh, we'll have tires once this one's done. I got a skid plate. Really awesome subscriber. Uh, his name's Jim. Messaged me on Instagram and was like, do you want a skid plate for the DRZ? I have an extra. And I was like, well, yeah. Oh, I said it. Damn it. And, uh, hey, Brad. And so he sent it to me, and it's a carbon fiber skid plate. So I got it all mounted up, so that's awesome. Uh, what a cool guy. Wouldn't even let me pay him for shipping. I tried. Um, obviously, handguards, grips, mirrors. Got the giant loop, saddlebag, possibles pouch, rack, uh, tank bag. Added this case savers. Got pegs on this week. Got the pegs on. And, oh, risers. I added risers yesterday. Pretty excited about that. It's going to make standing up a hell of a lot more comfortable. Got the Tusk Risers. And um, Radiator Guards are on the way. Radiator Guards have been ordered. I ordered the uh, uh, the Deval, Deval Racing ones. I know that, that the unit bikers are a little better, but I didn't want to take the tank off and do all that. I didn't think I was going to have time, so I got these will protect it. They'll do great for what I do for the most part. I don't think I'm going to get into anything heinous enough to accordion my, uh, my radiators. We shall see. Um, yeah, and then that's like the setup I need for right now, and obviously there's time, there will be a time when we start talking about exhaust and jetting and stuff, but. I don't think it hurts anything, does it, East Bay? What, what could it hurt to put a light layer of grease on something that gets submerged very often? I think it's good. <clears throat> hey, Harry and Kim. That carbon fiber skid plate is legit. It feels like plastic, but it's really strong. I had to get a little creative with some bolts. Oh, and the drain plug, plug hole doesn't line up, so I'm going to have to take it off every time I do an oil change. I'm not looking at a gift horse in the mouth. Just saying, it's a bad design. I'm excited to have the skid plate, and I do not mind. It's totally worth it, but why did you design it that way, Eline? That makes no sense. Razor, Razor, did you get my message, bro? I got a wild hair and basically put the tires on today, so I'm, um, I don't need your help this time, but I never want to do it again, so I definitely want your help next time. But uh, I haven't got the, this wheel back on the bike yet. It's right here, but I got the tire on. Maldog, is that a euphemism? Cheers, everybody, by the way. What are y'all drinking? What are y'all drinking? This is that... Uh, that Ranger Creek 44 Rye from Flaviar, sampler box. It's pretty good. It's all stuff that I couldn't ever get in a liquor store, so of course I'd have to order it from them if I ever wanted to get it. Awesome. I appreciate you offering to help me, though. Much appreciate. Uh, Razor, you'll appreciate my video coming out Monday. You'll appreciate my wardrobe in that video. Thanks, Dad Redwood. Uh... Razor's coming to see you, it sounds like. That's a joke, because the Trees and Mysteries in the Redwoods. Yeah, this was a hand-me-down we got from from a work a, uh, associate of my wife. But it's definitely seen it's seen its share of action, so I like it. It's got a lot of character. Drink some sweet tea. Drink some spotted cow. 
That's badass. Got my icon posters up. I think I mentioned that last week. It's better to have something motorcycle in the back than just the ugly ass wall. That twenty dollars a wheel is not bad. Drink it still reserve, Stefan, you are hardcore. Eckers Mark tastes like a campfire smells. You see, I would think a bourbon would taste like a campfire smells. Because the smoke or not a bourbon a scotch. Bourbons taste sweet to me. Thanks, bot. Are you only gonna do it once this time? Bot's been a little overzealous the last few weeks. He's been like posting 16 messages at a time because he's a little douchey like that. Yeah, I see Brian, I'm not crazy. I'm not drinking, have mead, mead's good. Kofi, hell yeah. It's too quiet, action, not I'm talking the whole time. All right, Jet, we're spinning for Jet. Wow. I was, wow, we're gonna spin. There's a bot getting overzealous. That's good. I think Critters in Canada. Oh, more dark trivia. That's fun. Okay. That's good. You guys crushed it last time. All right. Oh, um. Okay. This is good. Remember the last question was, what's one thing I love about dual sport riding? Okay. Guess what the second question is. The next question is. And one thing. I'll wait until the jack tails are over. Whoa, the bet is, the bot is going crazy. Name one thing I hate about dual sport riding. What's one thing I hate about it? And don't say I don't get to do it more. Because of obvs. Ugh. Well, Rookie, I hope everything's good, man. I hope that was a, you're the end of surgery, not... Or the, I hope that was to eliminate the cancer and you'll be better later. Soon. Maldog, the bot has posted a link like 15 times, I think. There's also a link in the description. Should be a link in the description to the Discord. Oh good, the dog's barking again. Jay, I was talking about you like 20 minutes ago. Okay, I'm gonna go close the door, kick the dog. I'm not sure yet. I'll probably go close the window so he can't see the people. I'll right back. Dog, this is not helpful. I'm trying to do stuff. My kid makes less noise than that dog. People don't know what it is. That's, yep, Zach, that's one of them. Gates is one of them. Uh, close the dog, kick the door. So I just close the blinds, because if you can't see the people, they won't freak out. Because he's dumb. Trees across the road. It's not hard to carry weed, it's actually quite easy. <laughs> Putting on tires. I feel like. I thought these would be easy because I literally made a video about these things, but it's like a test. I see how it is. I see who's a true fan. You're all fans if you're here. That's a joke. I'm kidding. Can't watch every video. No. Uh, Wookie dogs have been known to rip people's arms off when they lose. D Myers, you can go with hammer rides as often as you want to, bud. I know how you are. I know how you are. I can't believe I, this magazine is called Imbibe. That's pretty exciting. I can't wait to drink Imbibe or drink. <laughs> Read Imbibe magazine. <clears throat> I mean, that's not about dual sport. That's about YouTube. But yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you one advantage to switching to a DRZ is it's tall enough to get my dirt bike stand under the one that has the pedal that lifts it up. I always had to lift the CRF up onto it and then use it. But the DRZ has enough clearance to get underneath. Mm. That's good. Not as good as Bullet Rye. Bullet Rye is my favorite rye. It's real good. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I would, I would have agreed with you, Jet, a year ago. But now I get on the thing, and I'm like, why was I ever intimidated by this? 
It's not that tall. I'm a little worried these tires are going to make it taller. So, yeah, I did. I did say it twice. I also drank every time. The dog is still barking. I don't know what to do about him. I may have to go close the door. I'm sorry. I'm sure it's really annoying. Oh, I know. I'll go put him outside. Sorry. I'll be right back. Whistle pig is really good. Chewbacca, come on. Come on. You've lost your inside privileges. Welcome to the empty chair live stream. Seriously. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like that dog, but sometimes he's obnoxious. He's a little bit obnoxious. Jim Beam's good stuff. I have a Jim Beam bottle because this is my travel flask. I filled it up to go camping and then uh, I didn't drink it all when I was camping and now I have whiskey in a mislabeled bottle or bourbon because that's actually larceny. Yeah, I know what you mean, Jet, um, because I used to be a concern on the, C on the CRF, but I've decided that on the new bike, I'm just going to keep my feet on the pegs or something. I haven't had to deal with a lot of uneven ground yet on the trails. So we shall see, because I would really rather not lower it. I don't want to mess up the geometry. And when you lower a bike, it just lowers the rear, so then you're like... In a reverse hot rod, because it's the forks, unless you drop the forks down are the same height. I fall all the time anyway, so what's the difference? Really? I don't know, it's a good looking bike, even without the rear tire. Larson is real good. Yeah, unless I find myself falling down a lot, I'm going to really focus on trying to get better and more confident and keep my feet on the pegs and stop trying to put my foot down so much. Um, it's a re I do that a lot. I do it a ton. 36 inches? That's taller, right? Yeah, you make an, ac an excellent point, McLevin. Yeah, if you drop the forks, then you get a little bit lower on the front. Does it mess with your, with your handling at all? Is that on the Tiger, Amanda? Uh, Phil, mine is quite a bit more comfortable than the stock seat. I mean, I still wouldn't want to ride that bike for four hours, necessarily. But, uh, no, it definitely, you can feel the difference. It's, it's wider. Like, the padding is better and all that, but it's the extra width that spreads out your butt weight. Now, you might just be able to get the, um, the seat pad like I had, I did the video about. But, uh... Stock is 30, so how did you get an extra two and a half inches? <laughs> Tell me how about it. Is that from your suspension work? I mean, you can put crash guards on them, Rookie, but you're better off just with a skid plate and hand guards. I, crash guards, I don't know. I don't want crash guards on a, on a dual sport. I want them to have them on my adventure bike, but dual sport, a full set of plastics is $100. What are you, what are you protecting? I don't know. I don't want to drop my Africa Twin because it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But it literally, I looked and like if I were to break, say, my front fender, I can get a new one for 20 bucks for the DRZ. Because for the most part, your hand guards hit first. At least every time I drop the bike, they do. And when I get the radiator guard, that'll be protected. And then, I don't know. Uh, Critter Moto would be the one to ask because he has actual crash guards on his CRF. And did you do that on purpose, Stag? I know you put the suspension in on purpose, but did you know it was going to raise it up and you're good with that? Don't say that. I can't have these tires making my bike taller. I was a little concerned that that might be the case. It's fine. I can get on by stepping on the peg. I'll just learn to keep my feet on the pegs. I'll get better. i got to learn how to ride better at slow speeds and turn around and stuff. Although I'll never be able to... I already feel like I'm not tall enough to do the lean the bike over and, and uh, drop the clutch and let it spin around because I can't lean it far enough up against my leg. This one's a lot taller. Well, 
again, rookie, the uh, the cure for that is don't drop your bike on the on the road. That's true. I could get inserts for my boots or something. Are you taller than me, Stag? How tall are you? If you were a couple inches taller than me, it wouldn't matter. When you have an ins my inseam is like 30 inches, so... That's fine as long as I can get one foot down. That's what I keep telling Lil. Because she's a little intimidated by the height of the CRF. But I'm like, you only have to get one foot down. You slide the cheek off if you have to. And if you don't believe me, go watch a Suburban Delinquent video on his second channel because he's riding full-size dirt bikes and that guy's like five foot two. He just slides his ass all the way off when he stops. Yeah, uh, East Bay, I agree, and I've already, I, I shift into fifth twice every time. But, it does okay at speeds, once you, I don't know, it's not like, the bras is really vibrating. Man, we're the same height, your legs are longer than mine. I have short legs, long torso. It's a curse. It's a curse. Yeah, D, you gotta do what you gotta do. Jocelyn Snow, short rider. I watch uh, a girl on her bike, a girl on her motorcycle, girl on her bike a lot. She's really short. And man, just, just, she does just fine. Megs Brapp's a good one. She's not very tall, but holy hell can she ride. Just gotta slide your cheek off. Boo 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 doo boo boo. Ba da dum bum bing ka ding ding ding. Uh huh uh huh. Mel dog, I'm not in charge of the shenanigans. I mean I am, but sometimes they just have to happen, you know, at their own pace. And I'm really tired, honestly. Why now? Why now? Oh, there it is. Mel dog's cranking it up. Mel dog's making it happen. Great success. Great success. Okay, I'll spin it for Mal dog because Mal dog makes the shenanigans happen. Everyone imbibe. Have a drink. Have a drink. Jet, you mean in t in terms of price? Next step up in terms of price. From Buffalo Tr I love Buffalo Trace. Honestly, I could drink Buffalo Trace, Larceny, Elijah Craig, and all those $35-ish bottles forever. But um, if you want to go up a step, I really like the, um, the Elijah Craig small batch. Um... Or sorry, this this the single barrel barrel proof. That's really good. The um, bu uh, God, I'm sorry. Bullet Ten Bourbon is really good. Oh, I have some right here. This is really good. Knob Creek, real good. That's another sort of low end, not low end, but reasonably priced whiskey, bourbon. This mixtures is okay. It's not like my favorite ever. Russell's is pretty good. Um, oh shit, yeah. I'll let you know how the old Forester is. I got some Melicorn because I've been told that that one's really good, and I don't like it that much. So it may become a mixer for me. Woodford's really popular. I think it's kind of, it's a good solid bourbon, but it, there's nothing like distinctive about it. It doesn't blow my skirt up necessarily. Bullet Ten is a real good one, and that that's a step up. It's a little bit more expensive. Regular Bullet Bourbon is not bad at all. In fact, I need some. I need some. I don't have any right now. Hmm. I have to remember that. Ah, two wheels in the tent. Thank you. You're always you're always welcome to drink, man. Just catch up. Mal dog drinking the cognac. We're getting a lot of everybody drinks tonight. The wheel gets stuck, right? I'm not imagining that. It likes to pick the same things over and over and over and over and over again. It does that. Yeah, because Costco just buys it from other people. Like, their scotch is like Glenlivet or something. It's If you go to Costco and buy Kirkland anything, it is a name brand that has been rebranded. Like, their toilet paper is like Charmin or something. So, if you're buying Kirkland, you're buying a good name brand. We can't get booze at Costco here, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would totally buy it. Yeah, Makers is good. Makers is another one that's um, it's good and solid, but I, in my opinion, doesn't have a lot of character. 
It's a very delicious vanilla. Not literally, but... Like, it's good, I'll drink it all day, but it doesn't... It's nothing remarkable about it in my mind. And again, my palate's not that developed. I just know what I like and what I don't like. I can't be like, hmm, cinnamon and a hint of pepper. Grey Goose Bourbon, D. I was at a conference once and we had a bunch of food credit to spend and so, but we were leaving. So we went to the bar and we were like, give us your most expensive drinks since we need to use this up. And get, I think I got a Grey Goose and Cran and it tasted exactly the same as a regular ass vodka. So I don't know what the hell. I don't even like cranberry. This is what he gave me because it was expensive or something. I'm not a big scotch fan myself. Um, if I want to taste that, I'll just lick this ashtray for the most part. I know, D. I'm, I'm messing with you, man. I'm messing with you. I've heard Monkey Shoulder is good. That's a scotch that I would try because I've heard it from a lot of people. Kirk coming in with the super chat. Should we spin the wheel for Kirk? Okay. <laughs> Spinning the wheel. Spinning the wheel. Doodle-a-doo. 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 Everyone drink. I told you it gets stuck on things. Never really gotten into drinking booze much since I need to drink a whole lot to get a buzz. Well, some people drink it for the taste, man. I'm not, I'm not usually trying to get drunk when I'm sipping whiskey. I'm usually trying to taste whiskey. Now, it does make me a little bit drunk eventually, but... Monkey Shoulder is sweeter than Smoky. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try it because I've heard that enough times. I've heard it recommended enough times. Maybe I should put it in my list on Flaviar. If you're into the whiskeys, that Flaviar Club's not a bad deal. I did a review video, um, but uh, if you sign up and use my referral link, you get an fr extra free bottle. You get $50 in credit, which is actually two bottles because I spent $50 on these two. So, you could get two free bottles of decent booze if you sign up using my referral. Now, it's $300 a year, so it ain't cheap, but the extra 50 bucks off the top is nice. So, if you do sign up, hit me up and I will give you my code so we both get extra free booze. Because uh, that's like a $50 coupon right off the top. It's, this whole library has basically been built from Flaviar. So, not bad. That was a Christmas present. They're trying to get people to sign up right now for Father's Day. Not a bad present if you need a last minute present. Or to suggest to someone else to get it for you. That Flaviar membership is where it's at. Because that they send, um, they send you, you get a bottle, you get $50 credit every three months and you get one of these sampler packs every three months with your membership and then you can order stuff. And their prices are really good. Like I pay $10 less for a bottle uh, from them than I do at the liquor store. All right, Jet, let me see if I can find it. Da -da -da danger. There's a stranger out to find you. Fortunately, I know somebody who made a video and he posted it in the comments, so I can just copy off that guy. Bam, there it is. Do -do 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 oh, except for I can't actually post in the chat unless I go into my... YouTube studio. Yeah, Jet, I get we both get a free bottle if you sign up using my referral. It's not bad. Not bad. So fifty bucks is fifty bucks, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give me limited availability for ads again. They always do that. Okay, this is not what I want. I want how do I get into the chat on my own video? What the flip? I'm annoyed right now. Clive control room. That's what I'm after. Okay. Okay. Uh, dude, it's pretty long. Here, I'll type it in. What the shit? That's not what I typed in. Hold on. It gave me a weird long ass link. Okay, hold on. I'll go to Flaviar and just grab it that way. Sorry, guys. Sometimes, you know, the pace ebbs and flows on the sh on the stream. That's what we do. It's just what we do. It's just how it is. Oh my god, click the link, you piece of shit computer. This is more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Hold on. 
Story of my life. Uh, we're like four clicks away. Okay, well, that didn't work. Bam! Posted it. That's the link. If you click it and sign up, we both get a free bottle. That is uh, the only way to do it. Do not sign up for Flaviar without using a referral link because the extra 50 bucks is totally worth it. East Bay, every time I play music, I get copyright strikes, so I don't have anything set up. Um, I guess I could pull some of that DRM free. I don't know. Normally, we're like going crazy, so music's not that necessary, but it would be nice to have music when I'm just like dinking around the computer trying to find links. You know. I mean, Chewbacca approves, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's very exciting music. Very exciting noise. For sure. For sure. For sure. So, uh, one of the other things in the, in the, title is I'm going to over the mountain to an OHV area to camp for three or four days with my dad coming up. So I should have a bunch of footage of that for you guys. I'm hoping. Uh, so I'm excited to take the DRZ and uh, hit up. It's up in the high desert. So kind of a sandy. It's not too up and downy. I don't think up there. Everything's pretty flat. But the, these track masters, I think will be real great in the sand. And uh, it'll be my first real trail riding experience on the DRZ, so I'm really glad that I've got most of the mods I wanted on it. And I'll have everything except potentially my radio guards will not have come yet. So that's good. And my beautiful, lovely, lovely wife, who loves me very much, got me some Alpine Stars Corazals for, my, for Father's Day, and they're going to be here Sunday, so I'll be able to take those too. So I'm pretty excited about my new boots because... Frankly, I have these boots, these shitty old built boots have run their course and um, they're fine enough in terms of leather and to keep my feet mildly warm, but they're not waterproof and the protection is, um, well, the slide protection is probably okay, but the uh, crush protection is non-existent. So I'm ready to move on from those. It's really the biggest hole in my kit. Everything else is a lot better. So that's the weakest link. And frankly, my feet are not going to grow. So that's a buy it for life kind of purchase. So they cost 300 bucks, right? I mean, present. So they cost me nothing, but I'll probably never need boots again, right? <laughs> They'll last me forever. So I'm pretty excited about it. Highly recommended by a lot of people on the Discord. So there's a lot of that going on. Like if you join the Discord, people are like, what kind of boots should I get? And everyone's got an opinion, right? You can get, we, uh, we're real good at helping people find bikes and, uh, Talking them through what bikes they, I don't know. It's just a great community. Lots of people are setting up rides, like probably 10 or 12 groups of ro group rides have been set up in the Internet Riding Buddies chat. So it's just a cool, chill place to hang, you know. Got a scavenger hunt going on where somebody posts a picture. So somebody has set a challenge and then like it's go take a picture of your bike with a barn and you go do that. And you post a picture and then you get to post the next challenge and that's ongoing. Um, there's a weekly challenge. This week it is your bike in front of a... Uh, uh, twisty road sign so that's cool d it's legit it's almost mx boot esque but hinged so comfortable enough to walk around in so it's a huge step up you're trying to sell uh, two well it's not as good as the two cans but they're a step down from the two cans similar protection yeah i wish i could wear a 13 because two cans are legit why don't you like your two cans anymore or do they just not fit right because, I mean, hell, if I had some toucans. Yeah, I've got MX boots, too, for my super trail ridey technical days. I, but they're just O'Neill rider boots, so these are going to be better than those. Maybe not better protection-wise, but they're definitely going to be more comfortable, which is a good compromise. Hopefully, with some, yeah, the hinge, I'll be able to shift a little better. Sh shifting in the motocross boots is interesting. It's a challenge. I use the side of my foot a lot. But when I'm on the trails, I mostly just put it in second and use the clutch. So... <laughs> Mal dog. You need a size 15, huh? So is that hard, makes it harder to get boots because a lot of people don't make them or they're more expensive? 
because there's more shoe. Maldog, with that, let's let's spin it up for Maldog. Oh yeah! Spin for Mal, spin for Mal. It's probably gonna be everybody drink again. Secret word. All right, Mal, you get to change the secret word. So the current secret word will expire when Mal chooses a new secret word that we will use for the remainder of the stream, or when until someone else lands on secret word and changes it. So last week, everybody like kept trying to get ke secret word, kept trying to get it for like an hour and 15 minutes, and I felt so bad that I put it on the wheel twice tonight to make it a lot easier to hit. So we've had it twice now. That's good. That's good. You got big feet too, Jay? I'm almost done with this. Should I go with one of the other ones from the sampler, or should I try this old Forester? It's got a good reputation. What do you guys think? Uh, sampler, so one of the Texas. This is a Texas bourbon and Texas whiskey, or Old Forester. Texas, Forester. Texas, Forester. What do you think? Might solve the mystery. Personal code? You use my link. Um, let me look, man. I think there's... Fortunately, I still have the referral page up. Uh, I don't think so. It's just the link. I mean, you could put in the la the end of the link, which is like Benjamin and some wor some numbers. That might be the code. I don't know, dude. If it doesn't work, I happen to know that we can go back and be like, oh, it didn't apply it if we email them. Their, their customer service is real good. Like, they usually email me back within an hour. Um, so if it doesn't go through for some reason, then you just will email them and they'll, they'll fix it. You're right, D. You got it. Size 15 also. Dang. I got two votes for the Forester. I've never had it before, so I was looking up... I'm kind of trying to work my way through some of the, the good mid-range bourbon recommendations. And so that was one that was rec highly recommended many times. The new secret word is camping. Good one. That's a good one, bud. Good one. Yeah, those, those pure motocross... Duck Fan has the Tech 3s. He doesn't hate them, but... They're, I mean, motocross boots aren't supposed to be comfortable. You're not supposed to walk around. That's why I like the Corazols. They seem to be almost as protective as motocross boots, but you can walk around in them. That's what everyone that has them on the Discord says anyway. So I, Because I get off the bike and walk around fairly often doing my stuff. I'm not out pure trail riding all the time. All right. Uh, I think Old Forester won. So let's check out. Here's the Forester. Old Forester, 100 proof. This is supposed to be the good one. They have a regular bourbon, but um, all the recommendations said the 100 proof was where it's at. So that's the one I got. Sweet, Jet. Yeah, let me know what you get, too. Uh, I like to try to milk it and get two bottles out of it, personally, but uh, highly recommend that Elijah Craig if you haven't if you haven't had it, because it's real good. The Corazals? Yeah, they're waterproof. Not They're not Gore-Tex, but they have the Hyper Dry, or Dry Tech, the same thing my ja our jacket has. You have the same jacket, McLevin. The proprietary Alpine Stars waterproofing. This is dangerous right now, what I'm doing. Yep, I'm wasting decent booze. Thanks, Jet. I hope you like it, dude. Enjoy your... The sampler packs are cool. Fly Mavericks for 60 That is a great deal. Those are at least 120 bucks normally, right? Is that the one that Hobbs scored? Yeah, Hobbs. Yep. Yeah, that Hobbs. Hobbs is the one that got me the seat concept seat for 100 bucks. Mmm. <sighs> okay. I like it. So far, so good. Yeah, you can also move your shifter up a spline or two if you have to. Good for you putting your motocross boots up before you went trail riding, McLevin. Way to set a good example. Okay, so the 100 proof has always has a little bit more burn to it. I can totally taste it. Yeah, Dry Star. It's good, though. Definitely more alcoholy, Not like in a bad way, just if you know what's coming. Uh, now that I'm going to Milliken. But shh, keep it a secret. 
Every time I tell someone where I'm going, they show up there. It's weird. Like, I'm just a dude. You know? Why do you want to meet me? I'm weird. I'll be the guy falling off the DRZ a lot. McLevin, are you, are you the same boot size as me? Do you want to buy some built boots? They're a good in-between option that I was just talking shit about how bad they are, but... I might try to sell these now that I'm getting the other boots. I probably won't be wearing them anymore. They're an 11. Does anybody need this pair of 11 uh, built Discovery boots? I mean, they've lasted me this long. Yeah, I just don't think. If you're if you, the bike fell on you, it does this. <laughs> Okie okay, afterbirth? I mean, I don't know much about afterbirth. You're wearing a thing backwards, D? Good for you. Just a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. It's definitely... It's interesting you can taste the difference between an 80 proof and a 100 proof. For sure. I don't know, Jimmy. I, they're like $100 new. I usually start at half of that when I sell something used. But these are really used. Like, I've got hundreds of miles on them, so I'd probably let them go for 40 or 50 bucks. Oh, sorry, Zach. I've seen every episode of The Office, but only once. Uh, I love Keen. I have a, pair, a couple pairs of Keen shoes that look like the day I bought them, and I've worn them to work every day. For two years or something crazy, but Danners are good too. I just don't have any, so I couldn't tell you. This um this booze is making me buzz, you guys. I don't want to alarm you, but uh, I've been doing some research and I've discovered that if you drink alcohol, you get drunk. What? I have bad news for you guys to break live right now. Are you ready? Are you brace yourselves? I was upset when I heard. Uh, my dad sold his DR200. I was hoping to be able to like offer it up to you guys, but he, apparently he sold it right away because it's a dual sport and they sell it like crazy. I didn't even get a chance to tell him that uh, that they're worth way more and he should list it for 500 over what it's worth. But he sold it. He's going to get a quad, I think. Just fine that that's good for him. I mean, he doesn't ride on the road much, but he's still got his uh, Suzuki Intruder Volusia. Whoa, Hobbs! Hobbsy, you don't gotta buy shit. Just send me an email because you just paid for him. Um, send me an email and I'll send you some, man. Just remind me because I'm not gonna remember. But if it's in my email, then I will see it tomorrow when I'm when I'm sober. So. Let me know how many you want, Hobbs. Put that in your email. Awesome, Jet. Let me know what you got. We got a spin for Hobbs, by the way. Uh, no, I don't know. He just... I don't want to, like... There's reasons why a motorcycle is less than ideal for him, and he'd be better off on a quad. So, let's just put it at that. I don't want to put all of his personal business out there, but he's more comfortable on a quad. Which is fine because we we weren't riding on the street anyway. You got whistle pig ten years the first thing I got. That's funny. Sagamore spirits that's supposed to be good. I've never had it. I haven't had Rittenhouse either, but that's good stuff. Yeah, Hobbs, just please send me an email that just says the word stickers and I'll remember. But I'll, that way you're on my list when I do the next ones. Current secret word is camping. All right, this is a spin for Hobbs. This whistle pig in my infinity bottle. Oh, Swedish story. All right, Hobbs, give me a topic. What's the Swedish story about? And then I will set a timer for two minutes and I will make up a story about that, starting with that topic. But as I go, as you guys type things into the chat, I have to try to work them into the story. So your goal is to put things in that don't make any sense in the context of what I'm saying. So, um, oh, dang. I just got, hold on, I just got invited to join the club? That's weird. Huh, that's funny. I feel like that's backwards. 
Um, what was I doing? I was setting a timer. Setting a timer for you. Two minutes. All right, Hobbs, what's the story about? Broken arms? Okay. All right, start typing in random shit, and I'll work it into the story. So, did I ever tell you about the time that uh, I broke both my arms at the same time? It was pretty interesting. Uh, I used to be really big into tug-of-war back in the day, uh, when I was in high school and in college, and so I got into a tug-of-war with this uh, guy, who and I was really drunk one night, and I bet him that I could out-tow his, his truck. And he said, okay, well, if you can if you can tug of war my truck, you win a chicken dinner. And I said, okay, but we can't do it here. We have to do it when we're camping. So we got in the truck, and we were driving up to the woods. And um, I noticed in the, in the center console, I was like, what's this lotion for? And he's like, oh, I put it on my golf bags. It keeps them nice and supple. And I was like, that's interesting, but I'm also concerned that um, you may have other intentions. So uh, when we got there, because we were talking about a chicken dinner, he's like, okay, I'm going to give you a chicken dinner if you win, but it's going to be this rooster. This is my pet cock. He's a rooster. And, uh, and I was like, dang, okay, well, if only I had a motorcycle like my DRZ, I would be better at this. And he's like, also, don't worry about hurting me. I have a stainless clavicle. And so uh, he hooked up a rope to his truck, and as he bent down, he let this really wet fart. And I was like, bro. What the hell? And he's like, sorry, I've been eating a lot of, of inappropriate foods, and so I sharded myself. But uh, here's a prophylactic just in case. And I was like, just in case what? And he's like, don't worry about it. And I was like, aren't we up here in the woods because we need to do a tug of war? And he's like, yeah, just it's hard for me to see sometimes because of my conjunctivitis, so I wasn't sure if we'd made it up here yet. Uh, so he hooks up this rope to the tailgate of his buck, of his truck. You guys are weird with these tonight. Of his truck to the tailgate, which I thought was stupid. Um, and when he opens the tailgate, a dildo flops out. And I was like, there's definitely something going on here. And he's like, no, 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 I just used that with on my sheep. And I was like, you are an inappropriate fellow. And he's like, oh, that's cool, dog. It's all good. Um, he's like, after, we, after we're done with this, you want to get some tacos? And I was like, no, I don't want to eat tacos with you, you weirdo. So we tie the rope to the truck. And he uh, slams on the gas. And I'm holding on to the rope. And uh, that's when I realized I forgot my special tug of war shoes. And both my arms broke. The end. The end. Okay. Okay, you you guys, come on. It's like a bunch of 13-year-old boys in here. It's like our viewers just dropped by 12 because we're talking, telling stories about sharks. <laughs> telling shark stories. That's what we do here on Dork in the Road. We tell shark stories. <laughs> beow, 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 beow. Dildo Corner. Is that what you call my house now, or? Yeah, I got weird hobs. I'm not in charge of what people type in. I just gotta work it in. That's the rules. That is the rules. Sometimes you open a tailgate and a dildo flops out. It happens. Uh, Corn was here, but I don't know if he's still here, Grumpy. Yeah, when you're shorting your pants, you know you're... I got a lot of pucker. I don't get a lot of shorts. No, they're broken, Garth. They're broken. I wasn't wrestling. I wasn't uh, playing chess against a Wookiee. Now, dog, are you still typing random shit? Because we're done, bro. Yep, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, keep going if you want. Chats aren't bad. Nothing wrong with some chats. Can't beat the chats. Yeah, I know what you mean, McLevin. I was just making a joke, bro. I'm glad you call it Dildo Corner now. Is it in good shape, Hobbs? You picked it up already? Is your wife actually going to ride it, or is it going to become your primary bike? You're going to love it so much. I mean, I only saw the one picture, but... You got a good price, it sounds like. The guy didn't know what it, what it, it was worth. Which is probably what my dad did with his DR200. I hope he sold it for a lot of money. I didn't really get a chance to talk to him because he called like 10 minutes before I went live. But we're going to look at a quad tomorrow. I don't know shit about quads, but... Uh, Chuck Norris always wins. Did you hear that Chuck Norris contracted coronavirus and coronavirus is in quarantine for 14 days? It happened. Lots of scat. Alright, Garth. Thanks for hanging out, bruh. 
Oh, you're going to ride it. I want to ride it, Hobbs. If we ever go trail riding, we should bring it. We'll trade off on it. Full moon drive. Yeah, T Dubs is a tractor. It'll climb a tree. That's a motorcycle that will run. You could drive it to hell and back and bring back groceries. I will try, two wheels. Thank you. All right, Jet. For some reason, I got a referral invite from you, so we may want to double check. Did you get the credit? Did you get the credit? Because I hope you enjoy it. It's Brittany, bitch. Oh, it's Flaviar. All right, spinning for Jet. Spinning for Jet. Sticker giveaway? Cool, we haven't done one of those yet tonight. All right, y'all. Maybe Hobbs will just win these. I love Browns, Hobbs. You know I do. What am I doing? Giveaway. I don't remember where the hell it is. It's been a week. I haven't done this in a while. Giveaways. Okay, you got the credit. Then it's probably fine. I'll get an email. I should, but it takes a day for a referral to go through, so it takes a day or two, so that people aren't cheating the system. Um, complete. Okay, custom. We'll do a sticker giveaway. Go. So you're gonna type exclamation point enter to enter the giveaway, and I'll let it run for a little bit until I feel like the the entries have kind of petered out, and then uh, we'll draw a winner. So thank you for that spin, Jet. Somebody's gonna win, uh, not just dark, no, just dark and the road stickers, uh, but you'll also get, I'll put some giant loop stickers in there for you, because I'm cool like that. Yeah, J it takes a couple days for it to go through, so I won't know till probably Monday. But I'm sure I did. Sometimes it doesn't confirm your entry, by the way, if we get a bunch of people at once, so don't freak out. As long as you've typed it, you're in. The bot just doesn't reply to everybody. Two dollars! Oh, and a unicorn steer sticker if you'd like it from my wife. You just have to say that in the email you send me so that I know to put it in the envelope. It reminds me, i got to print some more of my little um, thank you pages that I send out with stuff. KDX Rider, welcome. Hope you win. Jesse, hello there. Yeah, win some stickers, y'all. I need like a sticker giveaway entry song going on. Oh, it's happening. I love that movie. Better Off Dead's a great movie. <clears throat> oh, that'd be fun, Stag. I mean, not the deploying part, but the having my stickers in every country you stop in. That's cool. Two dollars. All right, is everyone who wants to enter entered? Exclamation point enter if you'd like to enter the giveaway. Punicorn. Yeah, great games, Zach. Hey, Steven. You're just in time to enter the giveaway. Exclamation point enter. I mean, you already got stickers, right? But you can always get more. You can always get more. All right, I'm about to end it. I'm about to end it. So make sure you get it in. My favorite bike, that's a tough one. Of all time, probably my 250L. Right now, definitely the DRZ. But that's not the secret word anymore, so. Does anybody have any camping plans, by the way? Two dollars. <laughs> That's a great movie. All right, I'm closing the entries. Picking a winner. David, you're the winner. David Hanger is the winner of the sticker giveaway. David, you have to email me at adorkintheroadappears at gmail.com with your address. Let me know if you want a unicorn sticker in your package. Envelope. It's an envelope. 
It'll be an envelope. Complete. Glenn, you're going moto camping next weekend? I'm also going camping next week. And I just got back from camping with Lil. I actually forgot a bunch of stuff. I was blinding to cook on the fire and I got up there and I only had my tiny bush bushcraft grill, the one I take moto camping. Not the big one I normally take when I go with the fam. Nice two wheels. That sounds like an adventure. Why is that song stuck in my head? It's always stuck in my head. Chungus, come here, Egon. Come on, the people want to see you. Egon. Come on, bud. Egon. Come on. You just going to stare at me like a cat? Oh, he's coming. Southern Utah BDR, that sounds awesome, Two Wheels. Yeah, go go subscribe to Two Wheels if you haven't on the YouTubes. Cat. I've got crap all over the garage. He's, he's nervous because things aren't where they're supposed to be because I haven't finished putting this tire on yet. So I haven't put everything away yet. Probably going to foolishly attempt it after about three bourbons. Browns is the place to do it, Jay. Great place for a nude rider. The campground is is awesome. I really like the campground. It's cheap, too. It's more trails than you could ride in a year up there. That's where I crashed really hard that time. The camp, it's the best OHV area campground that I've been to. They're usually just a big-ass field or something, like a big parking lot, but there's an honest-to-goodness campground at Browns. Corn, just start driving. Put the crap on your bike. Go camping. I was actually going to go moto camping Sunday night. And then Duck Fan's wife had to go and have a baby. So I stayed in town because I watched their dog while they're in the hospital. And I'm not actually complaining. But it did, it did push back my first trip of the year. So I haven't gotten out yet. But it did rain like crazy that night. So I guess it's good. I don't know. I don't like packing up in the rain and having to come home and dry everything out. I get bored sometimes, Jet. I usually take my Switch. Um, but honestly, I end up just drinking a lot. <laughs> and I'm less bored when I've been drinking. Uh, and I like to go out. I like to leave noonish so I don't have to eat lunch out there. Go out, set up. By the time I found some firewood and got everything set up, it's close to the time to start the fire so I can cook on it. And then after dinner, I always have a cigar and get into the bourbon. And then, meh. So. But now that I have a decent off-road motorcycle, I'll have some stuff. I'll have a bike that I can go ride to kill time, too. Because uh, on the Versus, I never wanted to take it riding in the woods or anything. Cause it, so I just didn't ride it. I haven't done any BDRs, two wheels, but I would love to. That's definitely a bucket list kind of thing for me. One major thing to improve on the DRZ. Huh. I don't know. I've done so much stuff. I mean, it's probably going to be, probably going to be, uh, jetting exhaust, the airbox mod. That would be the next big three things I would do. But I don't want to pay for exhaust, and I'm not going to pull the card myself because I would definitely screw that up. So it's going to have to wait till I can pay somebody to do it. But I want to ride it stock for a little while. Because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about comparing it to the 250L. And I want to have a good, honest-to-goodness baseline of it before I start doing anything to it. I want to know what I'm talking about. Get some apes. Did I get those apes? Yeah, I guess sleeping on the ground is probably great for you right now, Corn. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. I love the sound of the rain. I just... Don't like, because you pack up everything, it's all waiting to bring it home and then set it out. Uh, yes, Steven. Ugh. I just put them on like two hours ago. These are, this is the, uh, the Kenda Track Masters. I gotta get it back on the bike, but I ran out of time before the stream. But that's what I was working on this afternoon. 
Yeah, I would screw it up. Jeff. I would lose a screw or forget where something goes. This is just... I, people don't understand how terrible a mechanic I am. I had a hell of a time putting these tires on, even. If there's a way to screw up a tiny, stupid, insignificant thing, I will find it. So, I do not trust myself to pull the tank off, get the carb out, take it apart. I just, I would screw it up. I definitely would either want to pay someone or have supervision. That's what I need. I don't mind being in the rain camping. I like that. I just don't like dealing with drying out my tent and stuff afterwards. So, it's, it's really great when it like rains overnight and then dries out before you leave. That's the best. Zuma 125? I would like to ride one. Uh, no. Stag, is that the one that has, like, the crazy sides on it? They're expensive, right? <laughs> I'm just riding the T-dubs around. That's what I'd be doing, too, if I just got one. Sean, I did it because everyone recommends it because apparently it's just super common. Like, there's four or five DRZ owners in here that would tell you that it's necessary. It just seems to be the most common first recommended mod those cases are magnesium and puncture easily i have not tried the pokemon dlc i don't even have the new pokemon on switch bruh thanks david i meant to get it i just never got around to it yeah i saw something about i mean i would like to give it a try but it's it's not cheap and i'm not gonna i don't know i don't want to spend 100 bucks on a not sure you know what i mean and the more the more complicated your tent gets the more you probably should have just brought, or the more complicated your hammock gets, the bigger it gets, and the more you probably should have just brought a tent in the first place. Yeah, don't say that, corn. Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Awesome, David. I really hope I didn't pinch it too, because if I did, I'm gonna be pissed. But I tried really hard not to. Scratch the shit out of my wheels, so I'm gonna order some of those wheel savers next time I do this. They were gonna get scratched up anyway, the way I ride, but. And by the way I ride, I don't mean because I'm a super badass. I mean because I fall down a lot. So, you know. You guys knew that. This one seems to be holding there okay. So far. I had a real slow leak on the CRF that was a pain in my ass for a long time. And then I finally just got a wild hair and swapped the tube. It was fine because it would like stay up all day or whatever, but I finally got rid of it. Hey Jim, family's good. They're just doing their own thing tonight. I would like to see it, Stag. Yeah, tell me tell me how it works out for you if you're gonna get it. Tires are on, Jay. This is one right here. You can hardly you can kind of see it. Uh, the, uh, the front is on. So if you've never done it before, Jay, and and I don't say this because it's fun, I say it because it's necessary. You should put your own tires on so that you know how to change a tire in the woods if you have to. It is a pain in the ass, and I don't like it. But I'm happy that I know how to do it. Uh, also, the the uh, the axle bolts and everything were so goddamn tight. I had to use a breaker a breaker bar like this long to get the rear just to break the rear axle bolt loose. I haven't, James, but I don't. I ride on road, so I it wouldn't work for me. I think those are cool though. I like the idea of a mooser, or, or um, if I spent a lot of time on the trails, I would maybe think about a tubeless setup, but I don't run low PSI a lot and I've got rim locks I put rim locks in too Jay if you do your tires highly recommend rim locks and uh, heavy duty tubes while you're in there do the whole thing so I added rim locks today so I can run low PSI if I want to and the cool thing about rim lock is if you get a flat you can still ride out on it because your tire will still spin I mean if I, it'll F up your tire but I would rather honestly I'd rather pay for a new tire depending on where I am and how long it would take me to change a tire in the bush. If I'm like 10 miles from the truck, I'm just going to ride it out. Well, Jay, then it's less about the tire for you and more about getting the wheels off and making sure you know how to do that. Honestly, don't love the tubes. I think I wish I could just patch the tire, but whatever. McNuggets. You don't have to drill them out, Jay. There's already a hole for rim locks. You just pop out the little rubber stopper. It's right. It's right next to the valve stem. Here, I'll show you. And we have. And I know yours has it because we have the same goddamn bike. Ugh, look, it's already pre-drilled. Here's the valve stem. Here's the hole. 
for the uh, rim lock. You're golden. You don't have to drill at anything. Just make sure you put the rim strip over the rim lock. And it's kind of a bitch when you put it in, so when you put the tire on, make sure that the rim lock moves up and down so that you know it's in there right. If it doesn't move up and down, you got to adjust the tires around because it's not actually pinching the tire. So just be careful with that. <sighs> yeah, bro. No drilling required. I would be nervous about that too. And then since that's now the heaviest part of your tire, just make sure you line up the dot. Because I didn't balance them. I'm hoping for the best. Can you see it? There's a dot on this tire. This thing's heavy. Where the fuck is it? I don't see it. Okay, well, I'm trying to show you cool things and I'm failing right now. This dot. So there'll be a light colored dot on your tire that's usually the lightest part. Put it with the heaviest stuff. So I put it with the rim lock. The, these light locks don't really cause a lot of balance issues though. Uh, D, they make it so you can run super low PSI without, um, because if you run super low PSI, you can spin the rim without spinning the tire, and it'll shear the valve stem off. And also, like I said, you can run, if you get a flat, you can still ride out on it because your tire will still spin. That's the major thing for me, is like, if I'm, if I'm 25 miles up in the backcountry, I want to know that I can ride out if I have to on a flat. And the, it's like, it's like $12, so totally worth it. Cheap insurance. But if you do any trail riding or get out on sand or mud at all, being able to go down to like 12 PSI, 8 PSI um, is good. No, Jay, I got the Motion Pro Light Locks because they're a lot lighter and they're cheap. Um, yeah, just tube tires, D. I believe stock is a 52, Jet. Rim locks aren't dot approved. I never heard that. I don't know. I've been running them. Because I don't want to get my tire balanced, Jay, I go with the Light Locks. I have them in the CRF and it didn't matter. Like I never noticed the difference on the highway. So, and I had that thing up to 75. I sincerely doubt a cop that pulls you over is going to be looking for rim locks. McLovin, can you confirm you guys go out on patrol for rim locks? I don't know. I'm never riding on a road with other people. Anyway, I always take the back roads on my dual sport. Hi Ray, you want to make an appearance? None of the other pets except for Chewy have been out here. You're the last one I expected to see. Ray? Ray? Come here, Ray. Come here, kitty. Come say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. This is my wife's cat. I don't know what the hell she's doing out here. She doesn't like me. Yeah, as you can see. She doesn't like me that much. <sighs> Yeah, I, I'm less concerned about vibration and more concerned about safety. If it got crazy. Then, so you look for rim locks first, then helmet? That's nice. And then license plate. Yeah, stag. As long as you don't go under 16, you're okay. Yeah, no one gives a shit about... You're the only person you're going to hurt with rim locks is yourself. And then... This, the super, like the cheap ass ones are very heavy. These light locks are mostly plastic. They're not very heavy. Great success. Oh. Yeah, got that email about that sticker pack. It's awesome, guys. Well, it may be. I don't know. I, it's, honestly, I've never looked into it, David. I put them in because I want them for when I'm riding off-road, and I don't think anyone gives a shit. So, we shall see. Uh, Stag, what kind of mileage did you say you've gotten out of your uh, out of your Trackmasters? How long have you had them? How fast are they wearing? This rubber seems really soft, which is going to be great when I'm in the sand next week, but when I'm riding on the highway, I feel like it's not going to be red. I just they're real, they're so soft compared to the uh, D six oh six. But the D six oh six costs twice as much. It's just the price is right. So if you get seventy five percent as much mileage out of it, it's a better deal. But yeah, double takes are game changer. I don't. They're the best damn mirrors in the world, and lifetime guarantee. You could smash it with a freaking baseball bat, and they'll send you a new one. I mean, don't, but they would. 
Wow. I love those mirrors. Yeah, Jim, that's the key. Don't don't be a dick. That's the secret to life. Just don't be a dick. They have other they have other more important things to worry about. <laughs> that's so nice of you, D, to help Jay to help Jet with his boredom. All right, let's spin the wheel. Great success. Great success. Sorry, guys. I don't know. It's just a chill stream tonight. I told you I'm tired. Hey, I put it on the wheel twice and it's a secret word all day. All right, all right, uh, D, what's the new secret word? Got your name up here, D. You're famous. Two dollars. Two dollars. Duckburg might solve a mystery. Plus tip. What do you tip on two dollars? Like fifteen cents? Hey Dan, you ordered a shirt. I'm honored, bro. I got your shirts, now you got my shirt. That's awesome, dude. The um, the hiking one? I love that shirt. D. Myers, the secret word is tire. Okay. Dan, I got a video coming up Monday uh, installing the Mojave bags with the, with the giant loop mounts. So I showed you guys those mounts last week on the live stream. They are legit. That makes taking my bags on and off super easy. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I dig them. Looks real good over there. I just like to stare at the motorcycle. And then there's another uh, another adventure video coming up, uh, dual sport adventure up to Shotgun Creek, on the on the Durs, on uh, on Thursday. Twelve hundred miles. So how much longer do you think you could run them without flipping them, Stag? And that's twelve hundred. What percentage would you say? Um, is on road and off road for you? I don't do a ton of pavement, but I have been riding out there. So I'm putting 45, 50 miles at a time on the road on my tires at the moment. Yeah, David, you should, dude. They're worth the money. It's one of those things that once you have it, it's like, how did I ever live without this? They're so good. Yeah, there's probably going to have to be a, uh, a meetup. Shotgun Creek ride meetup since it's it's halfway between for a bunch of us, so we can all hit it up. I did, I did. I'm gonna be an expert on that area real soon if I keep going up there and hitting up all the side roads. Awesome, Jim. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that reminds me, uh, I, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I did a, an interview for the Ben Motorcycle Adventures podcast, so go listen, go subscribe to that, to him, um, and uh, you'll hear me on the 29th, I think is when it's coming out. Jim, my advice to you, because, and that reminded me because it's one of the questions he asked me, is just do it. Just get started. Like, don't paralyze yourself waiting until everything's perfect or you have everything figured out. Anything worth doing is worth doing badly at first. That's how you learn. So you got to go and make videos. And in order to learn how to make videos, you just have to. So put your camera on and go. Learn to edit. Learn to figure out your flow. Figure all that out as you go. But the most important thing is to make videos. Ernest, Ernest Hemingway said, if you want to be a writer, write. Well, if you want to be a moto vlogger, then you got to go moto vlog. I mean, come up with a topic. Review your bike. Like Bike specific things always do well. But don't worry about being perfect. Just worry about making videos. Get out there. Make it happen. And once you start posting stuff, come in here. Hang out in the live stream. I'll shout you out. We'll get you some people. Um, also, if you go in the, uh, join the Discord, we talk about this quite a bit. Talk about motor vlogging and video making stuff. So I would recommend that. Another thousand to go easy. About 20 miles of payment time I go out. And that's at least once a week. So 15 to 20% payment. That's probably about me. That's about how I'll be. 
Yeah, Dan. Well, um, Harold was great. I really enjoyed that. I learned a lot, actually. I didn't mm-hmm. understand or know that... Um, I didn't know the origin of the name Giant Loop. So that's pretty cool. Bunch of cool stuff. So yeah, you should go subscribe and then listen. Because this last week was Harold from Giant Loop. So uh, go listen to it. It was badass. What's the mad video of yesterday? Jonathan Vance was the time for the 10 right? But it was cool. The mad video too. No, I didn't watch it, but I should. I'd like to write that 10 right. All right, here's McLovin's spin. One eighty five. All right, McLovin, give me a noun. First place to thing. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, somebody. We should all just go in. We should all pitch in like a couple hundred bucks and just buy like a community ten array, and everyone gets it for one week. Right, something like that. Yamaha, if you're out there, and you want to give a free motorcycle to a, to a, a very small time YouTuber. I'm ready. I'm there. I'll write it, I promise. Here's just perked up. The guy with the 310 views in the Discord. 310 views remind me of writing my tip for my parents' property. Bend, Oregon? Uh, I have a purple panda lavalier mic in my helmet. That was one comes highly recommended. I think there's a link below, actually. Um, but Purple Panda Lab mic is what most people run. And then you got to run the audio adapter on your GoPro. Bend, Oregon, huh? Okay. Uh, David, I have the, uh, the Diablo Pro on my Dual Sport. And I have the Fandango Pro on my Africa Twin. And both of them do the flippy thing. But depending on the size of your bike, your bike I recommend... Um, smaller bike, go with the Diablo Pro. It's plenty big. And then the Fandango is great. Carries a ton of stuff on the bigger motorcycle. Jeez, guys, I can't keep up with you. Hey, 11,000 is small time, bro. I'm like barely above mediocre. <clears throat> I gotta think about Ben because it's been a while since I've been there. 185. Uh, Bend, Oregon's walking to a bar. Bartender says, "What are you? Why are you so sweaty?" And uh, Ben says, sorry, I just got back from running a giant loop around the building. I love that red. The red and white one is badass. Giant loops and Ben, by the way. That's the joke. 185 giant, 185 Bend Oregon's walking to a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve Bend Oregon's here. Bend Oregon's like, are you kidding me? Half the beers in here are made in me. There's a lot of breweries in Bend. <clears throat> mm. 185 Bend, Oregon's walking to a bar. Bartender says, We don't serve Bend, Oregon's here. Bend, Oregon says, I'm not here to drink, I'm just looking for my sisters. All right, I'm going to do one of the other, uh, one of the samplers. I'm going to try the bourbon. The bourbon is Alamo, black label bourbon. That is this one. So this is a Texas whiskey sampler. This is Alamo black label. They come in these cool science vials, which are glass and brick, so I should quit dancing it around like an idiot. Yeah, Discord, little little smoky smoke, little cigar action after hours on the Discord. We'll post some gifts. It'll be fun. So if you haven't joined the Discord, we always hang out there afterward. Um, I usually have a cigar after and hang out. Let's see what my wife's up to, but that'll probably happen tonight. I gotta actually, I'll probably pop in the Discord, but I'll I'm gonna put this tire on, which is probably a dumbass idea considering how much I've drank. But I want it back on the bike. Damn it. Good night, Glenn. Have a good night, bruh. Chris, are you uh, are you on here from Milliken right now? I saw your shirt. I mean, I saw it because I sent it to you, but I saw you wearing it. It looks great on you. You like that red? I liked it. That is custom. There is not another sparkly red Dork and Road shirt ever anywhere in the world. Custom Razor Pros action. My 
wife's cat is back. Yeah, D, I will probably knock the motorcycle over, which will really piss me off, so. I do have most of the day tomorrow to get it figured out. And then I got time to test ride it immediately after, which I'm excited about. You guys, did I say this already? There is baby powder all over the damn place. Because I put a bunch of the tire and then I couldn't get the valve stem through and I was like flinging it around and stuff. Yeah, the dog's outside. But best invention ever. Is it sitting here? It is. If you do your own tires, you need one of these. Because by far, so the two biggest pains in the ass when I change my tires are breaking the axle nut loose and pulling, getting the valve stem through the, two, for the, through the rim. But... If you have one of these valve stem pullers, you stick it up into the rim, screw this onto the valve stem, and then pull it back through. Oh my god, it's so much faster. So much faster. Dan, I would love to get a Tanare. If you, if you know anyone giving one away, you have them call me. Uh, I mean, I love my Africa Twin, and I wouldn't sell it to get a Tanare, but, man, I would love to ride a Tanare. That is an adventure bike I would think about taking on the trails. This, but this is going in my tire changing kit in case I ever have to swap out a tube on the trail. Uh, and this was like 10 bucks. If this one's small enough to go in the kit. So this is a lifesaver. And it's got a valve stem puller right here. David, is that the noise a valve stem puller makes? It's also a garrot if you're really close and the person has a tiny neck. I love that thing so much I should probably order some Dork in the Road branded ones and sell them. Because I love them. Love it. It's like this. Wow. That's what I think about it. I looked at it and I was like, Wow. That's pretty cool. I need to get some more noises on here. You shall not I never use that one. I just like it. They're cool. You should, Zach, because I need that tip. And the thing is, I'll get it almost lined up, and then the, the goddamn rim strip will be blocking it every time. Story of my life. Oh, well. I'm used to squirmy. Gotta, gotta uh, rub them in a little bit. That's not the right word. Scrub them in. That's what I meant. Rub them in sounds like something else. That's what she said. A brap noise would be good, yeah. I don't know why the hell I don't have motorcycle specific. It's because I set this up in like the 10 minutes before. Oh, thanks, Dan. Well, I mean, I hope I get a free Tenere too. That'd be rad. I would ride the shit out of it. I would definitely take it on OHV trails if I got a free Tenere. I don't think I'm quite big enough to get a free Tenere, but we shall see. I'd be the dorkiest guy on the tenor end in the world, that's for sure. That video of the guy ripping it up on the motocross track on that thing is badass. It's a hell of a motorcycle. Yeah, it's good to know how, but I will probably pay someone the next time I do it. When is Ditter getting his own line of riding gear and bike accessories? I would like that. I don't know. Uh, Dan, what would it take to get a, a Dork in the Road branded pronghorn strap? Can we do that? That'd be a fun product to sell. Very versatile. Very awesome product. Or like a Dork in the Road buck and roll tank bag. Dork in the Road gas bag. Why the hell did I think of that? My wife would just die laughing every day. Yeah, I think a community tenere would be badass. Start a GoFundMe for that. It's like a it's like a timeshare. Everyone gets a week, right? You buy into it, and then we just drive around the country and hand it off to people. Boom, 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 da, 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 da. 
<laughs> Are you serious, Dan? Because I would love that. That would be awesome. I think people would buy it. Well, I think there's a few people who would buy it. Definitely sold a few bags. Hey, Dan, do you guys have any um, any tracking on like how often the promo code is used? I'd be real curious how many uh, how many people have used it. Because I want to like try to beat that record. So whatever it is, I want to try to beat it and get more people. I bet Razor Pros could put like a embroidered logo on a Dork and Dork gas bag. Something like that. Gas bag, best solution if you want to carry extra fuel on your bike, in my opinion. So versatile. You don't have to keep a mount on your bike like like you do with uh, um, the Rotopacks. You can roll it up, stick it in your bag when you're done, or just carry it for extra thingies. Better than an ordinary riding buddy, because I come with a gas bag. D, you have an 8-gallon tank on your uh, BMW? That's a lot of gas, bro. You could ride to Mexico with that. Um, ja I think Teespring can. You just have to look. Look on Teespring. And if not Teespring, then hit let me know, and I will check with Razor Pros and um, just tell you what he charged me, and I'll have him print it for you. Or the cheaper way is just become a $20 patron, and i got to figure it out because I owe you a shirt then. <clears throat> Twenty dollar patrons get a shirt. Um, Five dollar patrons get a sticker, and then one dollar patrons get access to all my adventure photos and everything else. And then everyone gets everything from the previous tier. So, Patreon's cool. I'm digging the Patreons. And if you become a channel member here, you get access to the exclusive green username and the badge. And there's lots of emojis. I think we're up to... I added extra emojis, by the way, for you guys. For um, those of you who are channel members. I think we're up to seven or eight now. I have to look. Yeah, here, I'll put them all in. If it'll let me. My computer's freaking out. Well, yeah, you only get one shirt, but you also get the joy of knowing you're supporting dorky motorcycling shenanigans. James, there you are a lovely subscriber. Well, my computer's like crashing, so hopefully that's not affecting the stream. There we go. Here, I'm going to put in all of the custom emojis in one message. It's just being very slow. Seriously, computer, what the hell? It isn't hard. There we go. I don't know if it worked or not. I don't think it did. Wow, the chat is really behind on here. Oh, this is the button I'm after, I think. Yeah, dork branded pronghorn straps would be awesome, dude. Would be awesome, dude. No, Jed, I'm not. I'm not saying you need to spend money, man. I'm just saying it's it's out there. Yeah, Dan, I would dig that. Can you get other colors? Like, can we get a red one? How many orders would you need to make that happen? Because we can make it happen. Tell me how many we'd have to get in order to order some. Uh, and uh, we'll hit it. We'll make it a goal. D, is that the stock tank? Or did you add a bigger tank? So all of you that are channel members have access to all of those emojis I just posted. Including the acoustic motorcycle emoji, which is a badass one. Now my now little dork's cat is out here. The only animals not coming out here are mine. 
That is the stock tank. That's crazy. BMW's not screwing around, huh? That must be one heavy bike. Because like a gallon of fuel weighs what? 10 pounds? Not 10 pounds. I gotta look it up. Now I'm genuinely curious. How much does a gallon of water weigh? Six pounds. Yeah. So an eight pound tank is, or an eight gallon tank is 50 pounds. That's cray. That is cray. Water's eight pounds. Crazy. Wet weight is just under 500 pounds. Huh. I mean, that's what the twin weighs. <laughs> I should have made that a dork trivia question. Y'all just throwing out uh, answers. I like it. Egon, come here, bud. The people want to see Chungus. They demand Chungus. If I try to get his attention, he won't come. It's funny. Okay, Gray. Yeah, we're all learning tonight. That's why we're here. We're here to learn, people. We're here to learn. Egon, what's the deal, bro? Oh, and Lando's out here. Weird. They want to help me put this wheel back on. Uh, on the moon, it would weigh approximately a quarter of what it weighs here. Uh, D, I like the pronghorn straps better. The, the elasticity is better. I think they're more durable, less prone to shenanigans in the wet. I have some rock straps in here. I also like the mounting options better on the pronghorn. It just, I mean, it depends on your application, but... Um, I know you can get longer rock straps, so that's a thing, but it depends what you need. I like the, the weatherproof go anywhere nature of the pronghorns personally. And the fact that you can attach them to each other. I guess you could daisy chain rock straps if you wanted to. Jet! That would be an interesting video to make, rock straps versus um, pronghorn straps. That'd be worth doing. All right, Jet, we're gonna spin for Jet. Um, also, Jet would like me to invite you all to the Discord, so if you haven't signed up yet, please come over there. Uh, you don't have to be a tech genius, you just have to be able to read words and type words, which most of you can do, I can tell already, so there you go. Let's see what the wheel says. Spinner's choice! Alright, cool. What do you want to do, Jet? Anything on the wheel is your option, so, uh, would you rather, um, dork trivia, we got two truths and a lie, Everyone drinks, secret word, 185, Swedish story. Uh, I think change shirt and change hat are still on there. So tell me what you want to do, bud. I made a video on the pronghorn straps D. You should check it out. Um, Dad will probably be, he wasn't going to ride the dual sport. He's going to use a quad anyway because we're going to go trail riding and his DR200 wouldn't have been great for that. So. Uh, but we're going to look at a quad tomorrow, so he may end up buying that. Gotcha straps. I haven't seen those. Okay, Swedish story, Jet. So I need a topic. What's the Swedish story about? So Swedish story is I will set a timer for two minutes, and I will make up a story. Um, it's an improv game. And I'll just start telling the story, and you guys will type random crap in the chat. And um, as you... As you type it in, I have to try to work it into the story. So I won't be able to get all of it in because you guys type a lot, but your job is to type in the most random crap that has nothing to do with what I'm saying. Try to m make it less about poop and sex this time, but I know you guys, so that's probably going to come out some. So what's the story about, Jet? And we'll do two minutes, and I'll just make up some garbage. Yeah, T-Dubs would be great for my dad and for me. I would love a bike that sort of low and planted. I think I would have a great time on it. Yeah, rock straps are great. I just... McLovin on a bike naked? What the hell? Okay, well, um, I will tell you. Yeah, David, wait for the dinner prong. That's one, Dan. That's one. You know I'm going to order some. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to tell the story now. Are you ready? So you guys have to start typing in random crap, and I'll work it into a story. Okay? Get ready to...
to type it in. I'm going to tell a story about McLovin on a bike naked. So a uh, little known fact about the police academy is when you graduate, there's a ritual that you have to take part in. And if you're becoming a motorcycle cycle cop, it's very specific. So um, your, when you graduate, they make you do the obstacle course and you, you have to beat it in a certain amount of time but you're not aware, to, not allowed to wear clothes. So it's sort of like the scene in Super Troopers where he goes out in the cup. So McLovin told me about when he had to go and take the class. And the thing is, you don't just ride. You also have to sing the song Super Califragilistic while you're riding. And you have to eat a peanut butter sandwich, which is crazy because McLovin told me that he was a little bit worried because when he went out, he had just had a Crunchwrap Supreme and he had really bad Crunchwrap Supreme farts. Um, and the course is so long, you have to take extra gas, and so he had a gas bag. When you win, though, you go through this arch of 99 uh, red balloons, which is pretty cool. Um, and also, because one of, the, one of the benefits of riding naked is that it's a really good treatment for foot fungus. So, uh, so McLevin gets on the bike, he goes out, he takes off down the obstacle course, and suddenly he's feeling weird. He has a headache, and he starts to go cross-eyed, he said which made it really hard to see the cones because they kind of started moving together like this. And so he decides to just kick it up a, mat, kick it up a notch and start slaloming through the cones instead of staying between them um, while pulling out some tweezers and just go ahead and plucking some eyebrow hairs. Um, and the Taco Bell came up and he let out this really massive burp as he went around the second corner. But he's coming straight towards the home stretch and everyone's cheering. They're setting up the balloon arch. And all of a sudden he gets distracted because he looks to his left and there's a wall burger. And he's like, I'm hungry. And so McLovin, in his infinite wisdom, takes a left turn, says, forget the obstacle course, and goes straight to wall burger. And when he gets in there, they, they're selling commemorative police academy mugs because it's right next to the police academy. So he goes in naked, buys one, and then they're like, sir, should you be wearing pants? And right then the other cops bust in and arrest him for being naked. But it was all fake because... They were his buddies, and they let him go and put his pants back on when he got outside. Anyway, that's the story of what happened when McLovin graduated from the police academy. Sorry to tell your story, McLovin. I know that you wanted to keep it a secret, but the people, the people got to know. People got to know. <laughs> Freedom! That Beth, are we back on the Beth? Can we talk about Beth? We're back on uh, Better Off Dead. Great movie if you haven't seen it. Great movie. Not bad. That's all I got, man. You just ramble. That's what you do. The secret is just keep talking until the timer runs out. <laughs> yeah, sorry, McLovin. I didn't mean to air your personal business. Trixie, come here. Come on, Trix. Come on, make an appearance. Come here, make an appearance. The people want to see you. Come on, you're gonna knock this over. I'm gonna be annoyed. Come on, dog. Trixie. Up. Come on. Oh, jeez. You don't have to jump into my mouth. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like the video. Sorry your mom blew up, Ricky. Such a great movie. This is Trixie, by the way. Here she is. This is my wife's dog. Because um, my dog's outside because he's an annoying a hole. She's not so good at jumping up. She sometimes misses her target, apparently. I just saw the replay. It's fantastic. Fantastic. My next moto camping video, my plan is to use my pronghorn straps to go and pick up some firewood and bring it back to the campsite on the back of my, tr uh, the back of my AT. So look out for that. I had all my gear packed up and ready to go, and then McLovin had to go and have a baby. So I didn't get to make a moto camping video this week. What's the secret word right now? Tire, right? Still? You're going to love that D606, Chris. Such a great rubber round thing. <coughs> Everyone's throwing out the quotes. Uh, I believe my dad is buying a quad, so he'll be able to ride in the woods with us still on his quad and do trails and stuff, but he's not, um, the motorcycle is just not the best option for him right now. Did I say McLovin? Duck fan had a baby, yeah, sorry. I've been drinking. The Howard Coast Cell. Two men line up 
at the start of the race. Yeah, I will still do that, Jed. It'll just be... He'll be on a quad. I think she was there, D. That's my guess. I've seen some pictures. She seemed to be there. And, and the kid looks just like him. It's crazy. It's like a clone. It's like a mini-me, so no doubt about who the father is. It's definitely a baby duck. We made a um, we made a baby duck onesie. I made a special logo where it's the duck fan logo, but with a like a pacifier, and then I the, the it's like in baby font it says baby duck, so that was fun. Yeah, dude, he can ride. He'll be he'll be good on the quad, I think. We can still explore the forest and tear it up. I guess this, he's gonna get like a utility quad, not like a banshee or something. He'd be good in a side by side. Mm. Yeah, I was there for one birth. Uh, baby came out doing this. Oh, because it's a duck fan. All right, y'all. We got about four minutes left, three and a half minutes. So if you've got any last questions, thoughts, feelings, let me know. If you haven't yet joined the Discord, you should, because we'll pop over there after this. And hang out, and as much as I want to go put this tire back on, I'll probably just have a cigar instead. But I definitely appreciate y'all hanging out. It's good times. Kind of a low-key, chill stream tonight, which I appreciate. Um, four by four form. I mean, I don't. I'm not looking for one, but he might be. I don't know. We'll see how tomorrow goes, and if he doesn't end up buying one, uh, we'll let him know. Maybe I'll hit you up in the Discord. Yeah, Chris, have a good time. I hope Milliken works out for you. I'm excited to check it out myself. Let me know how conditions are. Let me know if there's any trails you recommend. And let me know which trail you have to take to get to that crazy view of Primeville Reservoir, because I want to see that. I saw that in the video. Yeah, Mr. Puff Puff. Got a Mr. Puff Puff it up. Wow. Yeah, legit, Dan. I would, I would, I'm sure I could get you ten orders right off the bat, um, with more to come. But let me know. We'll we'll sort of go fund me it. Tell me how many we need, and I will talk to the people about making that happen. Yeah, do it, Stag. I would love to see that. Yeah, Chris. Sure looks good, man. Have a good ride. Try to keep both wheels down if you can. Pronghorn to run. That's definitely a video I can make. Hey, adventure awaits. Because I have pronghorn straps and rock straps. I think that, I don't know. I feel like they serve different purposes. Get a fresh whiskey. Can't have too many of those. I, got, I still got one sampler bottle left. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to shut her down, I think, so I'll, I will pop over to the Discord. It'll probably take me a few minutes to get in there. So start posting your um, posting your gifts that remind you of the stream and all that. I appreciate you all hanging out. Please check out my Giant Loop Mojave and Giant Loop Mount install video on Monday and my um, second DRZ Dual Sport Adventure video on Thursday. That was a fun one, fun ride. And uh, as always, please don't forget to be excellent to each other. Oh, you do not want to miss the after credits scene in the new adventure video coming out Thursday because I found a terrifying item in the woods. I'll just leave it at that. Thanks, thanks, awaits. I agree. Fantastic.